Hello everyone, my name is Kevin Salazar. Uh, my topic is social media and my major claim is different forms of social media are negatively influencing the, Ameri the youth American culture. Uh, my, secondary, my first secondary claim is going to be uh, the unrestricted access to knowledge on the internet is negatively influencing the America's youth behaviors. Um, a first example would be like adult sites influencing promiscuity within our uh, Teenage, or our teenage, our American society, um, resulting to increase in teenage pregnancies. According to Peggy Peck from the ABC Network News, the Guttmacher Institute released a report that after a decade of declining pregnancies among teenagers, the rate of teenage pregnancies increased 3% in 2006. Um, this means that 750,000 women under the age of 20 became pregnant. Uh, although some may argue that there are uh, other alternatives to prevent teenage pregnancies, uh, we need to realize that there are also health risks that, health risks that follow. The unsupervised, access, uh, the unsupervised access to the internet uh, also influences teenage drug abuse. Uh, according to Denise Whit <coughs> Whitmer, from, a graduate from the Penn State Institute, uh, she says that as, a, as internet access is a privilege, and if we do not supervise our teenagers while they use the internet, uh, they can look up things such as like drug recipes or you know find out more about drugs and what the effects are uh, from drugs. An example would be like synthetic weed called spice, where they use grass, clipping, grass clippings and insert um, chemical THC into it, so it can feel like you're smoking marijuana. Um, Another example would be unsupervised internet usage has increased um, cyber, teenage cyberbullying. Cyberbullying can be can be from starting rumors on social networks like Facebook uh, to constantly harassing someone without physically having to bully some uh, that specific person. Uh, this makes it more difficult to control someone. Uh, and according to the bullying statistics, 2010 there are about 2.7 million students <coughs> being bullied each year. This means that about 2.1 students or 2.1 million students taking the role of bullying. Cyberbullying increases uh, the impact on teenagers' lives, causing the increase of suicide rate. Reports of cyberbullying and suicides have shown that the increase of suicides, uh, I'm sorry, that the increase in suicides between the age of 14 and 19 years old uh, are caused by cyberbullying. So this leads me to my second secondary claim. It's going to be social media creates a negative value system based on materialism. Uh, reality, this comes uh, to my first example of reality shows where, uh, you know, like, let's say Jersey Shore where they have these pairs of shoes laying on the ground and such. Uh, and something I saw was that overconsumption causes one to be unsatisfied with materialistic things, causing them to spend more money and want more than they need. According to the New York Times Health article, materialism is bad for you. Materialism is bad for the soul. Only the new formulation of material formulation of materialism is bad for emotional well-being, causing more stress on a teenager. So if you don't have like uh, let's say the newest or the latest and greatest, you know, you can be uh, outcasted by others. Um, also, this leads me to my next example where materialism negatively influences unhealthy competition <coughs> between America's youth. Uh, having the latest and greatest, like I mentioned earlier, can determine a person's fate. If a teenager does not have the popular items, others shun them. This causes stress and gives teens a low self-esteem in America's youth, according to Vincent. Uh, he's a medical doctor, a board-certified <coughs> pediatrician, and fellow of the American Academy of Pediatrics. Teenagers with low self-esteem are more likely to cause harm to themselves. Uh, an example of this would be like cutting their wrists. Um, also, materialism is causes marital problems. According to Francesca Di Megilio, a journalist from Georgia Washington University in Washington, D.C., who has written about weddings, marriage, sex, romance, parenting, and personal finance for numerous publications, mentioned that researchers at Birmingham, Berman uh, Young <coughs> University conducted an experiment to see how important money and having a having um, and having things for them, the researchers asked about aspects of their marriage, including satisfaction. Uh, they learned that those who placed a high emphasis on materialism scored 15% lower on every other aspect of marriage, creating a higher risk of divorce. 
Uh, this can only mean that our teenagers later down the line when they do get married, uh, they have a high risk of getting divorced due to being unhappy. Um, social media also creates an unhealthy concept of attractiveness and well-being. Uh, like uncensored reality shows promote underage alcohol abuse. Uh, MTV shows like Buck Wild and Jersey Shore promote the alcohol abuse is fun. Showing these adults having a good time and drinking alcohol gives the ideas gives the idea to teenagers that only one uh, there's only one way to have fun and that is to get drunk. According to an article, a shot of reality: American youth who drink before the age of 15 are more likely to become are four times more likely to become alcoholics than those who wait until the legal drinking age. Um, this leads me to my last example of this, where reality TV influences uh, self-images in America's youth. Uh, reality shows promote that famous base off of looks. Uh, this causes America's youth to uh, want to achieve um, a picture-perfect self-image. According to Malcolm C. Roth, a medical doctor in cosmetic, sur uh, in cosmetic surgery, uh, stated that the top five um, I'm sorry, that cosmetic surgical procedures increased 2% with nearly 1.6 million procedures in 2011, uh, them being breast augmentation, uh, nose reshaping, and liposuction, uh, also facelifts. Um, this leads me to my conclusion where uh, you know, everything I've gone over today uh, has a different way of you know, uh, influencing our teenage society. But, um, you know, little by little, we don't know where we're going to be at, so thank you. All right, uh, the topic is identified. The terminology is a little bit broad. On your preview, you don't really have a setup of what the supporting points are going to be. You kind of start that direction, but then ultimately all you do is go into that first point. And that was a little bit confusing because that first point ba basically had multiple points in itself. And so I think, I'm thinking, this is the body of the speech, but it turns out really just to be the body of that first particular point. Um, I think that you do a good job showing, for instance, that materialism could be problematic or that alcohol alcoholism is being uh, more widespread, but what you're having a tougher time doing is linking it to uh, access to the social media. There were a couple of links, for instance, about uh, the the reality TV shows that you mentioned, but uh, the notion that they have a significant impact on any of this seems a bit of a stretch, you know, that somebody watches Jersey Shore or Buck Wild and suddenly decides that that's the only way to live is by getting yet faced on the weekend or the day every day i don't know what they do on those shows i didn't understand the story about the shoes on Jews jersey shore and how it fit into uh, your argument i guess it had something to do with people being materialistic i thought you, that you did a good job arguing that materialism is problematic and that it has negative consequences but like i said you needed a stronger argument that materialism was related to uh, uh these particular kinds of media you had data on uh Cyberbullying, for instance, and you had data on bullying. I'm not sure that that data goes together. You had one number that was just talking about uh, bullying in general. And then you did try and link um, uh, suicides to cyberbullying, and you said that there's a link, but there's no data on that. It's a conclusionary statement. I don't know if you're quoting somebody on that and how they arrived at that conclusion. That was really very um, obscure evidence. There were a few places I thought that you did a good job citing sources, but there were a few places where it sounds like you're giving us a paraphrase of what the evidence said or telling us what your inference of what it was instead of quoting it directly, and I think that's a little problematic also. All right, thank you.